passion grew when I was in church. I okay. started enjoying having conversations. With people. Yes, mm. so the passion is what, eh, I started following radio presenters, mm. especially born again ones. Okay. And then now that I was saved, mm. I felt that, eh, gospel shows in Afanya impact. They're mm. praying for people. They're, They're telling people, people about change. God. And then uh -huh. I was very passionate about events. So okay. I was organizing events in, in church. church. Oh, nice. And we used to even have sometimes talk shows. Do it because you're passionate. If you're passionate about the media, that is enough reason for you to venture into it. Hello everyone, welcome to Sanana Mitindo here on Wema TV. Remember we air every Wednesday at 8 p.m. Kama Kawa Kama Dawa and we are continuing our series on Kenya's radio presenters. Some of the best of the best. Venye mnajua tu, me I don't let you down. Now let yanga wale the best. Uh, Kama Kawaida, and we continue with our second guest, and she is none other than Tess Waka. Tess Waka Karibu in the building. Asante sana, asante <laughs> Karibu sana. sana. We are so, so excited to, to see you, <laughs> because most of us, tunakusikianga, tuna yeah. so leo tuko, tunakuona one-on-one -on -one mm -hmm. live, yeah. and we are so excited. Thank you. So you can introduce yourself. Maybe someone is watching you for the very first time, and maybe hearing you for the very first time. Mm -hmm. Who is Tess? All yeah, right. Yeah. Um, what's up, people? My name is Tess Walker. I am a born-again Christian. I'm a journalist by profession, but I've specialized in radio pre presentation as a radio host, mm -hmm. gospel radio host, mm -hmm. not just a radio presenter. I'm also an advertising consultant, mm -hmm. and uh, I am an event organizer. Mm -hmm. I should have started with my wife, mm -hmm. and I am a happy, happy wife. Mm -hmm. So in a nutshell, that's, that's me. Mm -hmm. Nice, nice, nice. So Tess, where did you grow up? Uh, where, where, where did you go to high school? Where did you go to primary? Mm. You can tell us about that. Eh, I feel like um, <laughs> like a celebrity now. I'm always eh, the one that's asking are. the other questions. You are. <laughs> but um, uh -huh. my name is Aluo Pwani. Uh -huh. yeah. Pwani, Pwani mm -hmm. Mbazani. Born and raised in Pale uh -huh. Bamburi Kisauni, Pale. Okay. Nice, nice. Yeah, so that's where I've grown up. That's where my family is. Uh, but your English is so... Ah, is the grace of God. Amen. Eh, kudwa wenye Jesus anaiza kukufanish. Okay. Uh -huh. Something that is nice, just amazing. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, but I think it's just living in Nairobi for long. Uh -huh. And I've been born and raised in Mombasa, Kulindo okay. Nyumbani, grew uh -huh. up there. Mm. I schooled in Burhanio Primary School, mm -hmm. nursery as well. Mm -hmm. And then Nime Safiri Sana in terms uh -huh. of schooling. And okay. then I went to high school in uh, in Kibwezi, Kibwezi, Ukambani sometime okay. for just a year. Okay. From one, from two. Shulagani? St. Joseph's. Okay. It was in Kibwezi. Uh -huh. And then I later moved on to Chogoria, New Soma uh -huh. Chogoria uh -huh. Senior School. That's uh -huh. where I did my high school studies. Okay. And then after that, I joined Mount Kenya University in Thika. Nice, nice, nice. And then uh, after that, I relocated back or rather went back home and I served in church for about four years four in years. Mombasa. Okay. And uh, as far as education is concerned and growing up, mm. that's it. But majority of my life has been in Mombasa. Oh, nice, nice. Yeah. So from campus, you went to Mombasa, served for four years. You look a full-time yes. ministry like... Yes, I served. I was only, I think, 18, immediately after high school. Okay, immediately after high school. Yeah, after okay. high school, I did yeah. Kidogo, and then after campus uh -huh. um, is when now I officially served in church. You time you kungoja. Mm. Kablowing, utafte job ama we, o, iyo place ya ku hustle hustle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, um. Uh, so, wepi ume hustle? Hey, is there anyone who has it? Unajua <laughs> kuna watu wengine wana ezadhani, because you're on radio, you just Oh, pop, goodness, like, no, uh, there's always a story, there's okay. always a story. Mm -hmm. But I served in church for about three years, okay. Pali Mombasa Pentecostal Church. Okay. That's where I actually began speaking, mm, because I was nice. in the media department, I was mm -hmm. just reading the announcements in church. Mm. Such an amazing place. Nice, um, nice. And uh, yeah, for about three years. Actually, before ni, ni nge campus, nearly mm -hmm. South Church for about yeah, two, three years before I joined campus, I think. Yeah. Okay, nice. So it was, by the time nilikuwa nenda campus, mm -hmm. nilikuwa sani, naiza feel mature kidogo. There are people who go to campus early, like they mm. get to high school mm -hmm. and they join campus Directly. already. Yeah, but for mm. me, after high school, I served in church mm. um, for about three years mm -hmm. in the media department, mm. just reading announcements. It mm -hmm. wasn't really a media department because mm -hmm. these days churches, zikona, 
zimeadvance hey, there's a whole tv radio station in the zetu but we got to some announcements i used hey. to organize bele church yes hey, okay, nice. okay on tuesdays we have prayers hey, on saturday my youth <laughs> ni 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 and that's what i used to do and then hey. i was very passionate about events so okay. i was organizing events in, in church. church oh nice and we used to even have sometimes talk shows kabla hey. saiku advanced churches can let hey. you do stuff like this kuna <laughs> cameras to go to tunafanya such that before i joined campus so it's in that season that i got to mm. discover that hey by the way people this love it when i talk uh, uh, people are like you have a good voice uh, people are like hey ukiongea na sketch kutaka uongee so uh, i realized even uh, when i was serving in church that uh, I, i think i want to do journalism uh-huh. so now I, i went to campus uh, now after serving in church for about three years nice nice so what inspired you okay as much as what ukukwambia did you always know you wanted to add, to become a media personality mm. was it always something you thought about no mm-hmm. oh, okay <laughs> i actually love business so okay. like your high school and everything i used mm. to say i'm going to have a business company i didn't mm. know what kind of business mm-hmm. but i wanted to do business mm. and so i think it's serving in church that made me realize that i would want to serve god mm-hmm. with what god has gifted me in mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so some of us discover our gifts late there are okay. people who discover early at 13 years old that this is what they can do mm. so for me niki serve church niki organize events mm. niki ongea and don't kanza kusema okay mm. these are things that i seem to do well cuz wengine wangefika wana stama okay wanaogopa mm. i could see for me it was flawless mm. i would talk i would organize events mm. perfectly mm. and I started feeling hey, maybe there's something here mm. then as I was growing because that's the time I gave my life to Christ mm-hmm. I came to discover that hey by the way mm-hmm. there's a special aspect of yes. how you can do things yes. so I started to find out really what mm. what am I good at and mm. when I discovered that I'm good at doing such stuff mm. journalism seemed like a very good career to fit my gifts and talents yes. I mean it's yes. talking organizing mm. events mm-hmm. all fall in mm. in that so that's mm. when I did um think of it and then okay. the passion grew when i was in church i okay. started enjoying having conversations with people yes so mm. the passion is what eh i started following radio presenters mm. especially born again ones okay. and then now that i was saved mm. i felt that eh gospel shows in afanya impact they're mm. praying for people they're, they're telling people, people about change. god and eh. say eh so mm. that's kind of what inspired although my parents really pushed me they're like you talk a lot you mm. should consider a career in journalism <laughs> Manze I love that fact <laughs> number one. why because mostly uh, for even other guys hmm. consider other careers yeah. rather than media yeah. media is not a career yene kila mtu anaambia unaambia mzai mimi nataka kukua media personality <laughs> na kuangalia zile za wewe well, t- by the sometime back tv zilikuwa kidogo yes. radio stations hey. zilikuwa kidogo so unaenda kufanya kazi wapi, wapi. so True. most of the people used to graduate and they are like yeah they hang around there so i love the fact that your parents were yes. were uh, were pushing you to work so how how was it how was it with your parents you can tell us about that i think they are my biggest my biggest supporters i mm-hmm. lost my mom over the christmas holidays sorry 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 yeah she mm-hmm. she's the one that uh, pushed me especially the religious or rather the spiritual aspect of mm-hmm. don't use your voice for just anything nice. but man my mm-hmm. dad my mm-hmm. dad would akiona gazeti ni muona wanatafuta watangazaji <laughs> i think until i did o- almost over 21 auditions in my entire before Whoa. i got my first job Whoa. Whoa. and it's my dad who would pay for the demos i mean my parents because you have to do a demo yes. you know most of them will say mm. do a demo so you would mm. go and those days to record a demo would be expensive mm-hmm. these days you can record with your phone and it's yes. going to be good quality and my mm. dad would always give me money i mean my parents would always mm. give me money mm. they're like thing is a demo how much is a demo demo ni pesa ngapi i did so many the times i would travel to nairobi to come for auditions because Whoa. i was living in mombasa mm. They were very supportive and I I I, I don't know. Eh, they mm-hmm. were many, you know those times mm. these days like you said there's so mm. many media stations but mm. wakati huo mazel kwa kuna stations mob. Mm. And so for my parents they always they were very they would even forward advertisements of jobs mm. that I don't qualify for. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And they like to supply. Mm. Umesha apply umesikia kuna station umesikia. <laughs> eh, they were so supportive mm-hmm. yeah until mm. today. Mm. Yeah. So uh umekuwa umekuwa kwa industry for a while. Yeah. That's, uh, I believe how how long? Since 2012. Since 2012. Na sai. Yeah, so what h- how is the industry then okay now and then as you compare uh, how 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 has everything changed especially uh, ume, ume, ume specify you do you're a gospel yes. radio presenter. So how how was ministry back then in radio and now how mm. it is? 
Well, um, generally, mm -hmm. I can't speak much generally because mm. my niche is specifically gospel. Mm. But the the time that I started my career, mm -hmm. there was genuine reasons for people being on air. Okay. You know, people mm. were not going to be mm. on air because they want to be famous mm. or they are money oriented. Okay. Those true purpose in mm. why people would be radio mm. presenters. I mean, mm. we started with the Kina Kubamba. Kubamba mm. are the yeah. pioneers in the gospel industry mm. and they truly wanted to just until today mm. the, the 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 place of gospel radio was not fame or anything yes and today general not even gospel generally media there's a lot of money motivation mm -hmm. you know people are doing mm -hmm. things because of money influencers mm. we've, lost, <laughs> mm. we've lost the true meaning yeah. of why we want to be on air yes. i would say that mm -hmm. not majority but mm. it's a bit corrupted mm. so days are you have to sleep with someone people mm. are genuine at mm. those times if mm. you're gifted you'd get a chance these mm. days it's still hard to make it you know you have to be connected it's it's really a bit corrupted i'd say that and we keep losing it and not just gospel if you look at today honestly in the media there's a lot of negativity mm -hmm. there's a lot yani it's like bad news every day mm -hmm. it's like when no when someone cheats on their spouse that's going to mm -hmm. be news but mm -hmm. when there's this couple that's making it marriage in mm -hmm. marriage they're not putting it it's yeah. really corrupted i'd say yes, it's yes. not the way mm -hmm. i found it when i first joined 10 years ago mm -hmm. yeah it's it's not the same nice nice so what inspires you what motivates you to do what you do because it's not everyone who does what you do and akona clarity na mm. Kenya nataka kufanya na agenda yake behind what you do so what do what, what keeps you going mm. Mm. i think for me it's knowing that that god is is the reason why i'm doing this mm -hmm. because i have had a lot of opportunities to work with very big media stations mm. only if i do mm. secular mm. and i've turned jobs down Ooh, and ooh, and ooh, 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 yeah, yeah and it's not because of anything mm. it's if you don't know where you're heading man you're gonna get any matatu kama mm. unapana matatu sai unasema unaenda town ya kisumu una business kupanda ya nakuru nice. don't have business to panda wewe mm. ushajua enda zako town kwa hivyo ngoja paka matatu ya town ifike mm. uende zako but you mm. see for me it's it's knowing that hey man i feel like my voice is too anointed to do that work. Hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Not not saying mm. in a bad way but mm. man, mm. I can't waste the gift that God has given me for it has mm. to be for him. Mm. And so for me God is life and if wow. there's anything I will do mm. it needs to give glory to God. Amen. So my inspiration mm. basically is for my relationship. Hey God is amazing. Mm. Yeah, so that's where I draw my inspiration from. Who who are some of the people that you have looked up to even mm. even looking at your industry, I'm okay with your industry, yeah. but some of the people you have looked up mm. to. Eh, uh, Faith Muturi. Okay, nice. I used nice. to watch her when I was still in campus. And TV. Yes, she's my nice. friend now. At least me linga kwa industry to papatana bless the Lord. Amen. But she's one of the ladies I mm. admire because she doesn't have black or white. Mm. Very clear mm. serving God, especially mm. in the marketplace. Mm -hmm. She's not just like a Christian personality and as a to church. Mm. She's actually big in the corporate, yeah, in the oh, market nice, yeah. Nice. Mm. And uh, my husband, mm, oh, nice. my husband is awesome. <laughs> we had him last <laughs> week. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, he's, yeah. He's, he's amazing. He's a people's person. He's uh -huh. always thinking about the audience, uh -huh. not himself when he's on air. I, yes. I, I look up to him a lot, a lot, mm. a lot. And then I have a lot of international ones, but mm -hmm. for Kenya generally, I would mm. say Faith Muturi because she's mm -hmm. been there for long. I no. really look up to mm -hmm. her, especially because she's a female. Yes. And I look up to her not just media wise, but even as a wife, mm. as a as a minister, mm. yeah, mm. and and my husband. Mm. Yeah. Nice, nice. Okay, kuna aspect yeni nataka tuongele. This yes. is now a, a bit outside radio yes, now. Yes. So uh, what if you are not a radio personality? Najua kuna ma talent zingine ama gifting zingine. Mm -hmm. What would you what is that thing you would love to pursue mm. or you would want to do yeah. maybe in this season yenye unaona ina happen mm. in our generation. Kuna vitu mingi venye tu mention. Yes. Uh hadi mtu akito akisema news ama even those there, there's things which pop up on Facebook. Mm -hmm. Unaona <laughs> eh, this call this nani yes. did this and this yeah. acha nisianze ku mention <laughs> watu watarelate <laughs> haraka yeah. uh, so what what is what is that one thing which you would love to do mm. or to impact this generation i think for me mm. if i wasn't on radio man i'll do full time events 
full time events because mm. there's a big gap mm -hmm. in 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 Kenya generally events w specify gospel. which kind of gospel it has to events. be gospel events mm -hmm. or rather mm -hmm. not gospel but faith based mm -hmm. you know we we my husband and I run a, a relationship ministry mm -hmm. on of singles oh, we, nice, we nice. have meetings for singles where mm -hmm. we talk about marriage relationships mm -hmm. and dating so not necessarily let me not use the word gospel mm -hmm. but uh, faith based events that um, mm -hmm. are have an angle of faith okay i would love to do that because at a sayu kiangalia mm. like for example when it comes to 31st kule mm. ambani melelewa mombasa mm. there's no place for christians to hang out man either mm -hmm. you go to church mm. or you attend a bali diamond or mekuja na siki kina mboso na siki nani <laughs> yeah, 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 uh, we don't have we don't have events that men Christians mm. can have fun. Mm. I've gone out of this country and when you look at how people are doing gigs mm. for for Christians because mm. as a Christian you know you're limited kuna yes. events yes. and the yes. club ni jibambe siji 31st mm. ni nini yeah. but I would want to be in a setting where mm. I don't have to think about oh my god I'm a Christian so am I here mm. we don't have that kind of things here I would yeah. love to have a a theater that shows christian movies wow yeah mm. i max yenye inaonesha movies are family friendly yenye mm. naenda na sister ngo mdogo wa mm. ako 12 years na na comfortable sio ndangoje ah wataonesha nini yenye mm. naenda with my dad yeah. where i can go with my pastor mm. and there are no people making out and funny things mm. such things mm. if i wasn't doing radio mm. probably that is what i would do so basically even in the entertainment industry kuna gap a big one a a big one. we need to enter into ah, those spaces ah there is there is because i've gone out mm. and i've seen christian festivals man mm. with mm. food and makeup mm. fashion show christian fashion shows christian fashion shows yes uh, i think there's nice. one that was that there's a friend of mine that's doing one right now in south africa and canada mm -hmm. she, um, nice is and she is she a kenyan no 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 okay. actually uh -huh. it's a he he's not kenyan oh, okay. uh -huh. but next time he comes you should have him he's really nice and he yeah. does uh, fashion shows that okay. are this christian means it's it's a decent fashion show nice yeah nice. so uh, everything that is out there but mm, now one mm. that is a bit faith based because yes. you know right now maze kupata places yenye ama mm. anything that is family friendly ningumu thank you ningumu <laughs> what's a popular myth yenye iko tu kwa as in yenye ukisema mini media personality mm. ama mini radio presenter yeah. that people have uh, about you yes. or maybe any other media Generally. personality especially Uh, gospel radio I think this one is a very famous <laughs> one with every media personality people uh -huh. think that media personalities have a lot of money uh, rich they ah! are rich ukiwa na shida inbox a radio presenter mm -hmm. muombe 10000 50000 yeah. <laughs> nitumie mtoto wangu ni mgonjwa that's i think everyone can it's no it's mm -hmm. it's very funny because we think that mm. because you're in those places man mm. money mm. is pouring mm. people usually think that you have a lot of money i think that's for any you are money is ready <laughs> yeah, so yeah. Just, ah, i know this, i know this is a tv presenter eh uh, hey, please una inbox hiyo unaambiwa nitumie well on the tv akona pesa sana yeah, 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 yeah. so that's that's yeah. a very famous myth that's a very famous myth so aha uh aha -huh, uh -huh ukio kwa career yako ya ku ya ku ya kwa presenter mm. what is what, that one moment or maybe you can give some instances zenye umekuwa tu uh, ulikuwa zile za wa that was embarrassing mm. huyo mtu ameni harass ama ameni embarrass yeah. either of the options so what is that one single moment that you can pinpoint i think ziko more but ziko i remember more. my first time on air nimekwambia uh -huh. mimi nilitoka Mombasa so nilikuwa mm. naongea Kiswahili kabisa ni mwezo wa Kiswahili mufti eh yeah. yeah. <laughs> tena nilikuwa nafanya station of watu ongea click Kiswahili cha mvita chaitwa cha mvita hey, that's a very specific vita. one <laughs> yeah it's not an accent <laughs> and then now i relocated to Nairobi street from Baraka FM Mombasa uh -huh. eh mwezo nilikuwa nimeweza kusema Kiswahili even in text messages uh -huh. eh tutumie ujumbe mfupi siji nini and then now i came to a, a station that is English I, whoa, I, I joined whoa, Truth whoa. FM nice eh hmm? I didn't even know the music eh uh -huh. I would do gospel artist look on you know eh na you too famous famous uh -huh. but Mombasa likuwa you know Mombasa even is a different atmosphere the kind uh -huh. of place the stations are a bit different yes na kumbuka show yangu ya fast ah thank god that <laughs> the producer was there uh -huh. I remember I really felt even I don't know if I should say it but <laughs> nilikuwa na kun, the first day I did the show uh -huh. there was there's a musician called I hope sita sema tuta jimbara stena eh usijimbara sapa <laughs> Bishop is it Ma, uh, Mac um, McDonald yeah, no, yeah, there's a Mac something yeah that one you uh, know. 
I mean, by I call you faithful. Mm, Your name nice. is faithful. Uh, yeah. Mapdo, or some, I, I've forgotten mm, his mm, name. Mm. But there's a way you say it. Yes, yes. Mainly, say my MC. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness! Uli kwa shwa ni MC. Kume na fakse wa Mark. You okay? Come back. Yes, I know. Many lenda na confidence. Wait, 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 wait. This is Tesli Banzi. You tune to Truth of Fem. That song is by MC. The producer was like, "Kuisha." I love you, Micho. You know when you begin a show, auto mesmo we have a new presenter. Oh my goodness. Will you my inja kuma? I do today you should know want to play that guy because I have ni kona. Uko uko na hiyo nini? Nice, nice. Yeah, that was really yeah. embarrassing. And then it was a first show you can imagine. Mm-hmm. I look embarrassing sana. Mm-hmm. I just hope to you. Aki aki pole. Hata I believe wameshasa. Hiyo ni miaka ngapi ilipita? Okay, so what would you advise mtu mwenye anataka kuingia kwa hii career? Hii career si rahisi. Mm. Kwanza saa hii in this in this yeah. season. Unaweza advise aje mtu mwenye anataka kuingia kwa hii career? Presenting. Media presenting generally you mm-hmm. have to have values maze usi usi cuz it will define values for you. Mm-hmm. Ukiingia kwa media kama mm-hmm. hauna mm-hmm. values. Okay. You don't have your personal values. Mm-hmm. Values is what you believe in, the mm-hmm. things that guide you, that yeah. uh, mm-hmm. direct you. If you don't have the media mm-hmm. will define it for you. Mm-hmm. You'll go into the media and you'll start believing things because you don't have your own values. Mm-hmm. So sit down and have a conversation with yourself what are my values because mm-hmm. it will help you mm-hmm. to be able to know mm-hmm. which road to take even in the media it can be mm-hmm. very confusing media say utambua and you fanya hivi you'll be given money to do mm-hmm. stuff so if you don't have values mm-hmm. of your own mm-hmm. it's going to be tricky but mm-hmm. if you feel that really you're gifted for it man go go for it yeah you, there's a lie that goes around that media is connections mm-hmm. it, it might be some bit of truth but okay. if you're gifted mm-hmm. ah you will always have a place in the media it might take right. long mm-hmm. it might seem like it's not but yeah. because yeah. we media generally is it's gifts that mm. that make it really it's the icing on the cake you okay. think you're this presenter mm. then you get this one is very mm. nice mm. if you believe that god has gifted you mm. don't do it for the money don't do, do it, it because uh, it's a gift passion. Mm. passion if you're passionate about it you mm. kwa sababu you think it looks cool mm. Mm. that's on the outside mm. there's behind the scenes that mm. people don't tell you mm. so do it because you're passionate if you're passionate about the media, Yeah, that is mm. enough reason for you to venture into it mm. yeah and we give up it's usually not easy there's no one who's been in the media that can mm. tell you they've made it mm-hmm. at yet it's been a yeah. walk in the park mm. no but i'd encourage anyone that mm. is interested in doing media and they believe that they, are, they have the gift and mm. they're talented in it mm-hmm. and they are passionate about mm. it yeah. men go for it mm. go for it go for it mm. no nice nice <laughs> nice so nataka to wrap up show Eh hey, imeenda haraka hii muda inaenda haraka. <laughs> yes. So nataka tufanye uh, a segment called pop quiz. Okay. Pop quiz hii ni rahisi sana. So what's your favorite food? Mm. Leo tukia tukia mwa tunataka kupeleka lunch mm. kama we my TV. <laughs> What would you love to eat? What do you love eating? Eh hey, pilau, mm. na si pilau ya Nairobi tafadhali. <laughs> Naita <laughs> pilau jeri. Na na na, na kuna pilau ya Kiswahili, utafuta <laughs> Kiswahili dishes. Imeenda shule. Eh hiyo pilau. I'm a big fan of it. It's my it's one of my favorite foods. <laughs> nice nice. So pilau tu peke yake mm. bila kinywaji chochote. Ah kinywaji kuna nyingine ito kwa juice. Kwa juice. Paka itafute specifically Nairobi. <laughs> where, where is that? Where is that found? <laughs> you can get it. It's tamarind. It's called tamarind in Swahili in okay. English. Uh-huh. Yeah, but tamarind. I'm also a big fan of milkshakes. Milkshakes. Yes. Oh, nice, nice, <laughs> nice. Okay. So, what's your favorite pet and have you ever had a pet? Mm. Na jina yake maybe. Yeah. Yes. I am not a fan of pets. Uh-huh. I think that's one of the things to disagree <laughs> with my husband because Ma- uh-huh. he kind of feels like ah, kwanza bila ogopa dogi, my goodness. Kabisa kabisa. Kabisa dogi ustake kujua. Uh-huh. I have like a whole embarrassing book moments na na dogs. But I'm not. Ah! <laughs> Kuringine to the honeymoon to Lena honeymoon after we got married we were in Johannesburg in South Africa then uh-huh. we went to this Airbnb uh-huh. and then najo via Airbnb we could not to kadha and stay yes so uh, we were newly wed and then mm. we went there to kind of out to the kurudi mm. when we released dog Jeez. I told my husband I am not getting in. This mm. get you have to call the owner and then you know we were newly married my husband wow, does not wow, know. It's wow, like it's wow, not a big wow. deal. It's just mm, a dog. Mm. I'm like no mean time. You gonna phobia. Kwa it was weird people tried <laughs> to come and help us. Mm. I was like I can only get into this estate mm. if the dog is locked. My husband was so mad. He's like why are you making Jeez. a big deal? 
Cause he didn't know me, you know. Eh, got to me. Ajui, we were just good, and eh. it was it was very embarrassing because mm. it. I had us to send it. To, eh. That's just one. To achieve to apo. Dogi <laughs> is a no kwanza. I'm not. Yeah, I'm not a big big fan eh. of pets at eh. all. I wouldn't. Eh. If I was to choose, I wouldn't have a pet. Eh. So what's your favorite destination? Umesema muli muli travel kwenda Johannesburg. Yes. So what's your your favorite destination? Maybe uh, in Kenya or maybe outside mm. Kenya. What's a place you would love to go to? Kukuambia kama sanana mitindo. Mm. Leo tunataka kukupeleka kwenye tour. Yes. Where would you choose to go? Israel. Israel. <laughs> it's actually my dream destination. Why? I'd love to visit Israel because I think mm -hmm. of the history, mm -hmm. biblically. Okay. Eh, ngetaka kuenda kuna Jesus kwenye likuwa baptized. Mm -hmm. Ngetaka kuna... The Jordan. Yes, mm -hmm. the tomb where he was mm -hmm. buried. Mm -hmm. I think that would be really um, amazing for me. It's one mm -hmm. of my dream destinations. Nice, Kenya nice. many many Kenya uh -huh. is amazing but cuz Kenya it's possible na uh, dream destination yes, has to yes, be something yes. that you so Israel uh, Israel so uh, what else do you enjoy doing mm. apart from now hosting uh, the shows yeah. and traveling what else do you do you do mm. as an individual just to have fun Cooking. cooking, I cook a lot. Number one, <laughs> yeah. Waka, Mr. Waka is very lucky. Yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> I uh -huh. cook a lot. Uh -huh. And then I read, man, I love read. reading. Uh -huh. I read a lot of books. Nice, nice, yes. nice, nice. To wrap up Nahi, mm -hmm. uh, what's your favorite mobile application? Ile unatumianga kila saa. Ukika ukiwa tu kwenye gari una una tap tu na bonyeza. It keeps changing. It keeps changing. <laughs> yeah, okay. It. Uh -huh. Yeah, but um, I would say my favorite one is there's this app called CBN Radio. It's, CBN it's a radio? radio app. It has like over 10 radio stations. Oh, nice. So the radios are for different music. Okay. So kuna reggae, kuna raga, but you want to Christmas. I'm a big fan of Christmas. Uh -huh. So I listen to Christmas carols. Throughout the year. my husband. Because <laughs> the end of it, I'm like, oh nice. my goodness. It is January. <laughs> you are playing. I love that Mary app Tiki because Tiki. Yeah, because it has all those. So. Uh, it keeps changing, but me, I'm a foodie, so bolt mm -hmm. up mm -hmm. food, mm -hmm. Uber mm -hmm. Eats, Jumia. Because uh -huh. <laughs> of the offers, those uh -huh. are generally, I usually keep on swapping. Uh -huh. And Uversion, Uversion is also my, my favorite app Ooh, because nice, I am nice. able to read the plants, uh -huh. the Bible at the hand every uh -huh. time. Uh -huh. Those would be among my top. Ni had kusema moja moja. So ni mingi. Mingi. So thank you so much for coming to the Asante show. Sana Tumefurai ni mesikia na film muda imeenda ambio sana. <laughs> eh, so lakini tumefurai sana kuwa na we hapa. Thank so you. So we can't wait to have you next time. Yeah. Eh, at least tutatuambia uh, sayu connection radio I believe. Yes, yes. Eh, so next time when we have you, I believe uto kumefanya more awesome. things. Awesome. Yes, yes, yes. Asante sana for so, having me. Maybe kama mtu anataka kukukontakt, umesema unafanya events. Yes. And you love also business. Maybe yeah. someone wants to to give you an offer to start a business yes, or something. Yes, where, where can, How can we be able to reach you? You can use your camera number three. All right. So yes. uh, for me, it's just Tess Walker. Mm -hmm. I'm very active on social media. Mm -hmm. I'm not that kind of people that they take like forever to reply. So mm -hmm. just uki search to Tess Walker, utani mm -hmm. kilo mahali. Mm -hmm. Just simple as that. Facebook, mm -hmm. IG, yes, Twitter. Yes, Twitter, everywhere. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, nice. Thank you so much for coming to the show. Asante sana. Eh, sana. Thank you. So that was all from us here at Zana Namitindo. We had the amazing <laughs> Tess Waka here on the show. Munajua tu na kuna waletianga the best guys. So you can't afford to miss the next episode of Kenya's radio presenters. And this was a gospel radio presenter. And she's one of the best in Kenya. So see you next time on Wednesday here on Wema TV. <laughs> Thank you.